Great. Einen wunderschönen guten Tag an alle, die hinter dem Bildschirm sitzen. Wir begrüßen sehr herzlich Waldo Soto, der uns über die Climate Action Academy äh, erzählen wird und das in englischer Sprache. Die Fragen können trotzdem nachher auf Deutsch gestellt werden und wir werden sie entsprechend dann übersetzen. So you can start now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you all also for joining uh, today. Thank you for, for the organization also. We are quite glad of being here. I'm representing the Climate Action Academy, a project that started one year ago and that we are now sharing with you some insights we have been collecting during the last few months. Um, I will present in this in the name of the Social Enterprise 2811. 2811 is a German Chilean uh, social enterprise working on the field of applying systemic innovation and systemic thinking to climate action and other different issues. You know? So I'm presenting today the Climate Action Academy. Uh, 2811 is an international platform for social and ecological change. We work basically, as I, as I said, uh, applying social entrepreneurship and social innovation to concrete challenges. In particular, the, the challenges around personal and inner change, also the social and economic challenge, and then, of course, the ecological challenge. So through this Climate Action Academy, our kind of purpose, in a way, is to address somehow those three different challenges. This is, this is a, a team that is kind of uh, quite diverse in the sense that uh, it's diverse in the sense of different backgrounds, but also different locations. And of course, we we try always to have uh, experts from the educational field, so we feel confident at the end delivering content to teachers. That that's the case of the Climate Action Academy. That I'm gonna tell you now a bit more. So, the last year, we ran a first pilot training almost 200 teachers from Colombia and Chile, from different cities. And in this pilot, we uh, place uh, an online academy of one month uh, where teachers had to join us for at least three, four hours per week. Um, and in this kind of academy, they first learn on the climate crisis, climate action was kind of the meaning behind that. Then second, the, about a bit more the context of climate action education. Third, the climate action at the school level, what is going on at the school level really regarding environmental policies, but also how cl the climate action is integrated or not into the curriculum. And last, the last module uh, we have in this kind of learning pathway is around the product production of a kind of lesson plans. So at the end, we collected almost 200 lesson plans among teachers from Colombia and Chile. So now at the end of the academy, they got the knowledge of the academy, the networks with different teachers, but also they get the lesson plans of different colleagues from different countries. No? We have applied this already. Uh, we, we run a second pilot in New Mexico, in the US uh, with 30 teachers. We are planning a pilot with uh, Eco Kids, also a, a, a partner organization, also present, presenting in this conference um, in Germany, in the south of Germany. That's, that's our aim. And then uh, this year, June, August, we hope to open also the, the Climate Action Academy for Brazil and Portugal. Um, so we are kind of collecting, learning from all these different experiences. This is kind of our theory of change, no? Um, so we have a sort of needs assessment um, and we place the, the Climate Action Academy according to the needs that we observe in the teacher community, no? And our kind of impact at the end or our purpose at the end is to kind of promote the change-making skills around climate action in the next generation. But in order to do so, we have to train first better maybe build community with teachers with the schools and then impacting the next generation 
We are partners also of uh, Climate Kick. Climate Kick is the European Agency for Innovation on Climate uh, Change. And they have a, an, a special division on education, which is called Young Innovators, that any person can partner with them, any organization can partner with them. They just require a sort of alignment with the key competences of the program. And this is important for us because at the end we evaluate, we assess the impact of the academy according to this kind of set of competences. No? So we have kind of enter enterprising skills, the ability or capacity also of mobilizing others, managing uncertainty, the change making skills, but also low carbon lifestyles, no problem solving, um, also system thinking, no? creative and innovation. So at the end, we evaluate, we assess the program according to this kind of set of competences. And in order to, to do so, we also place different methodologies to impact on this. This is a really amazing community. I'm talking now about the Young Innovators community. Uh, it's a community that we as organization kind of, we are part of this. And this has been really great to collect learnings and insights from different uh, kind of delivery partners, but also to share our, our own learnings with them. You know, it has been, because I, I think also it's helpful that we as, as kind of delivery partners or owners or founders of organizations, we also have to have a community, you know, like uh, our peers, you know, and, and this has been a really nice community in that sense. Um, Young Innovators is, the, the main focus is on kind of systemic change. Uh, and that's the reason because the entire kind of set of tools that we offer are around the idea of systemic thinking, you no? Know? It's not like design thinking where you focus the programs on the person or the individual. It's rather we place the focus on the system around the communities and the, and the, and the people on them, you know? So this is pretty much uh, the Young Innovator program that I really, really recommend you to take a look to it. I would like to share um, with you a short video where uh, you can take a look at a bit what is the purpose of this kind of uh, community of education for climate action. So that was, I, I wanted to highlight there, like the focus of the program is basically, as you as you can see there also on the systemic innovation. That's, that's really important on the focus of our work. Just a quick comment um, on kind of the lesson plans we are preparing with the teachers, no? Uh, we are working at the end with teachers um, from different teams, from different, um, kind of uh, lessons uh, and the teachers, they prepare uh, content on waste management, 
self-sustainability, conservation of ecosystem, also reforestation, climate change mitigation strategies. And here we have a short kind of quote from, from a teacher, science teacher from fifth grade in Colombia. Um, and they, they, they assess the problem in a way in the program declaring like in the city of Cartagena a community in the La Esperanza neighborhood, you can see the pollution with the naked eye. Uh, due to the lack of uh, environmental awareness, the neighbors uh, threw the garbage into the street and into La Virgen Swamp, generating bad odors. It's like an entire kind of story around the challenge that they perceive around themselves. That is also a kind of, that's kind of key first to be aware of the challenges around them. And then according to the challenge, they define the lesson plans also. So next step, as I commented before, um, of course, we want to expand the subjects where we are working. Uh, we want, we would like to kind of build a sort of kind of set of methodologies, like a book, for instance, where we can collect different ex different different experiences. And then, of course, we 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 are kind of we are working on having the first pilot also in Germany and Portugal and Brazil. I I had a comment that the video didn't play. Uh, I can share it also better maybe through the um, through the application i know it has a a way to share the video if i have time of course still i think i have yeah we are in the middle of a climate crisis all around the world we are starting to see the negative impact of our changing climate we need to take action now People have to work together and change their lifestyles entirely if we really want to tackle the causes of climate change. Young people, and many others with us, are demanding that change comes faster. We have been organising ourselves, calling for climate justice. It will be up to my generation and the next to become climate innovators and lead us toward a zero carbon economy. We have great imagination and so many good ideas already. But we shouldn't have to leave the classroom to show that we care about climate change. Help us by enabling us to learn about the complexity of our current systems and by allowing us to experiment and develop the competencies to change these systems. My generation is ready to make a difference. We have a lot of potential, and the world needs to start making use of it. Enable us to tap into our ideas and imagination. Join us in leading change. Perfect. That was a video that, sorry that didn't play the sound, I think, is the feedback I'm receiving. And thank you, Johanna, that is in the audience also for the feedback. Um, that's the Climate Action Academy. We are, again, uh, looking forward to have the, the first pilot in Germany. We are collecting some, of course, insights learned from Latin America, from the US now. And we already confirmed funding for Portugal and Brazil. So we are quite, uh, of course, open always to have any insight, any input, feedback also uh, from your side. Thank you again, and I'm open for question now or later or anytime you feel like. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, also. Uh, one first question, which um, with how many schools do you cooperate here in Europe? How many is, uh, skills, you mean? No, no, how many schools, uh, ah. which one uh, you cooperate in the European context? Yeah, we ran the last year in Hofheim together with EcoKids, uh, mm -hmm. a climate action, climate action camp. And so we had a camp with 15 different students. And now we are planning to work with the same schools of the same kids but we don't have a collaboration still with schools precisely. We're planning more 
arriving through NGOs that are working already with the schools and also the kids of the of the summer camp we ran the last year. Okay. Yeah. Um, next question is: uh, English are necessary for all students, or are some other languages also possible? Because in Germany, you you often have it's a it's a high problem to say, oh, it's all in English, and uh, students often think, oh, okay, I can't speak very fine, and it's difficult for me, and so I, I would would not um, yeah talk or participate. No, has to be. I agree with that has to be in the in the local language. Uh, so we are we have the the syllabus and also we have the program already in German, and we are working also to have the program in German. But it's not just it's not just the language. It's also we have to really localize the curriculum. So we mm -hmm. have to make sense to the local curriculum of the different regions, the different countries. No, so for instance, in Brazil, it's like in Germany also. We have to work really with the curriculum of Sao Paulo. Uh, there is not like a there is like a national curriculum, but you, we have really to narrow the curriculum to the different states. So yeah, in the, the same way we localize the curriculum, we have to really deliver the program in the local language. Okay, so um, thank you. The next question: I'd be interested to see those lesson plans you talked about. Are they available for interested teachers? Yes, yes, uh, they are. I have a, I can provide a link uh, with the lesson plans. Uh, we, we have like 20 lesson plans from the academy from the US, and those one, those are in English already. So maybe that will be easier for you, uh, for maybe the the general audience here. And then uh, we have the vast majority of them are in um, Spanish. But I can I can share. I don't know if I can share anything here in the chat. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you have the lesson plans. So they're called guías de acción climática, like climate mm -hmm. climate action guides. And there you can download the guides in Spanish first and later in English. In English. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Next question: How is the um, acceptance in the teachers and the students? Do you feedback after quite some time? Um, the application process is quite easy in a way. Um, they they apply through the school or through the local government or by themselves. Sometimes it's also through a local foundation. So, for instance, WWF enroll twenty teachers from the Colombian Amazon, and this way the teachers were invited by WWF. Uh, and then we promote the peer-to-peer -peer feedback. So a different teacher is giving feedback to the lesson plan the teacher prepared. Um, and we don't have still like a kind of a quality, a, a kind of assurance method that we, at the end, a kind of review the, the guides. But I think it has been helpful for the teachers to review the different guides that, that they produce by themselves also. Okay, uh, thank you. J just uh, to repeat uh, once more, uh, how is, uh, is the acceptance of uh, your um, your propositions you are making? Um, so you mean the feedback we are receiving from the teachers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. feedback and, and uh, yeah. okay. Yeah, we are running a. Um, uh, a survey each module at the begin at the at the beginning at the end of course uh, they are they like a lot the community so they, they they perceive as a kind of core value of the program the community building that they can meet teachers from different cities different countries uh, they like a lot the methodologies we place for them also the 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 lesson plans by but they feel a sort of a uh, lack of methodologies to uh, for addressing this topic into their own schools. Mm. Um, so we don't have kind of a clear methodology to install the topic with the principal or with the school, for instance, and they are missing those kind of contents still. And they're missing also, 
a second feedback we are receiving, a sort of community after the program, because okay. we don't have still like a, a lab, alumni program, for instance. So they are missing kind of a community uh, just uh, after the program was. OK. Um... Is, uh, is there a possibility to, for example, to um, to meet uh, students from Chile or USA? Or are they international contacts also or just uh, in between uh, the countries or in between uh, South America, North America or Europe? Which ways are to, co uh, yeah. to build the community? Yeah, we, we are preparing a summer camp, like an international summer camp uh, that can be delivered at least in Spanish and English uh, with yeah. kind of trans translation methods. Um, because also they, they, they really love to know experiences from all, all over the world. You know? So if you're teaching in a small city, I don't know, here in Chile, for instance, of course, at if I'm a teacher here, I want to know what is going on in Germany, what is going on in Spain, in U the US, what they are doing at the, at the end to address this challenge. So we received that favor also, and we are placing a kind of summer camp, but this time for teachers. OK. Thank you very much. Um, Thank you. Now we're at the end of um, and this uh, contribution. Thank you very much. And Two different uh, points I want to, uh, I will speak in German now. Um, also noch zwei vielleicht auch wichtige Hinweise, sowohl für die Teilnehmer als auch für die Referenten. Im November, am 13. und 14. werden wir eine zweite Auflage der KISS erleben und alle sind herzlich eingeladen. You are also invited to participate on the second uh, turn of KISS on the 13 and 14 of November. Um, and uh, in spatial chat, you are, you are allowed, you are, it's possible to talk about your propositions. And um, es ist möglich, darüber zu sprechen, gemeinsam, auch heute Abend, gern noch im Anschluss im spatial chat. Und damit verabschieden wir uns ganz herzlich von Hans Soto. Thank you very Vielen much, Dank. Mr. Soto.